beautiful suns, moons, and stars out there. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are brand new, a very special welcome to you. I'm Bonnie, Old Sold Mermaid. If you saw from that little intro clip that I filmed, I am a discombobulated mess. As you can see, my life needs some serious structure and some organization. My room, my which was originally my sewing room, has now become not only a sewing room, but a craft room and where I film my videos. So it's just become a mess. So it, it's kind of a reflection of what's going on in here. And... Um, just not wanting to deal with stuff. So this girl here needs some serious organization. And uh, I purchased some things that I'm hoping will help, um, help me organize my thoughts. So if you would like to see what those things are, let's head on over to the table right now. So if you saw my April favorites video, you saw that one of the things I wanted to do was to get more organized. And I did show you what I used to use in 2020, my happy planner, and I haven't used anything um, since then. And my life has just kind of gone off kilter. <laughs> I'm not being very productive. So if you saw that video, you saw that I bought um, several things from Amazon trying to figure out a planning system, something that might help keep me on track. And I showed you a Clever Fox um, planner and I've sent that back and a couple of other things. But I did keep this Erin Condren planner because I wanted just a major catch-all one with it, enough room and this is pretty large I don't know the exact measurements of this but it's larger than you know an a5 it's notebook size so um, it's vegan leather it's undated because I plan to start this in June we are still now in May and so this is very minimalistic which I like and you can see I started putting stickers for goals and intentions and then I started using some numbered stickers and I have started putting in the, uh, the putting in holidays. Uh, I did put in the full moon and the dark moon. And this has kind of a dashboard layout before you, um, after the monthly page, um, where you can put goals and then it's got some grid. And then you go into the daily, um, you know, each day. And so you see, you get a good section right here. And I did find, this is what you call like 90 GSM paper. So it does ghost, as you can see from my pen. So I have to be um, aware of that. But uh, I did start writing in and filling out this uh, calendar, starting to get it ready for, for June. But I like how it has, you know, a place for tasks. And then I thought I would put, you know, my workout and just keep it in one place. Because as you saw, if you saw my other video, I had one planner for, um, you know, daily stuff. And then I had another one for like food intake and workouts. And I think I'm just going to do, you know, an, you know, just keep track of my basic workout for the day. Here it has a place for notes and tasks, you know, a checkoff list. And I just like the minimalistic, um, the vibe of this. Um, I don't, I'm not gonna do any heavy decorating in this because it would take too much time. Um, this is just gonna be my catch-all where I note everything down. I'm not gonna spend time decorating this um, this planner at all. I just, I just like the minimalistic look and I just like how it's just, you know, very, very structured. And this is where I'm gonna put everything down. And then I'm gonna branch out. Now this was one of the purchases I made from Amazon that I didn't send back. This is a Voyager notebook. I would say this is what you call personal size. And this is vegan leather. 
This is, you can, uh, you can pick this up for $10.99 at your local Barnes & Noble or Amazon. It comes in lots of different colors. Now, I thought this would be good because this could fit in a bag. And I don't generally carry big tote bags and bags. So I wanted something smaller, but something bigger than a passport size. I don't know. I may go to a passport or pocket size. Like I said, this is what you would call a personal size. I think it, there's no dimensions on it. Um, this comes fully loaded with, you know, a plastic insert and a zipper a zipper case, which is really nice. And then you get three inserts. Now, I did take out one of the inserts and substituted one I bought separately. Um, I bought, you know, a calendar, a daily calendar. And then what did come with it was um, lined and dot grid and a blank a blank insert, which I took out because I put the calendar in there. So I thought this would be an unfussy to go um, option that would fit in a purse that isn't too dear, that I could just easily note things in when I'm on the go. Um, feels nice, you know, again, it's not too dear. It's not, it, it's vegan leather. And um, the, the inserts are made by Peter Popper Press. So they're very economical. Um, but like I said, this comes with three inserts, the dot grid, the blank, and the lined. This calendar one um, was like $3.95 or $4.95. Very economical that I added in here. Um, so everything that... I would put in the Erin, the large Erin Condren would transfer over to here to be on the go. So um, again, I wouldn't plan on doing heavy decorating, maybe a few stickers. I might um, decorate the covers, you know, the covers of the, you know, these outer covers because they're pretty plain and they're begging to be decorated. But as far as doing heavy decoration in, in this book, um, Probably I won't. Maybe with the dot grid section. Um, I, I might get maybe if I could find some watercolor inserts. No, I'm thinking no. This is going to be purely productivity, purely um, functional and practical, you know, on the go planning. Okay, so now we're going to have a little fun. We're going to do a little bit of an unboxing here. Um, you may know what's in here if you are familiar with the company that uses these blue packaged in uh, packaged envelopes. You probably know what's in here. And I will say I was very heavily influenced by Don Michelle at Boho Tarot and her channel Boho Bloom, her journaling uh, channel. So I'm gonna take the contents out of this bag. Yes, if you guessed Chic Sparrow, you were correct. I recently purchased two items because they were having their 40% off uh, sale. I've never purchased anything from Chic Sparrow before in my life. Um, I actually just discovered uh, Chic Sparrow by uh, Don Michelle's channels and also, you know, going down the rabbit hole of some other channels, but so far I'm digging this packaging. I love this paper. Um, I could definitely use this again and I want to keep it nice and intact for some projects. That sticker is really, really cute. And there's my receipt. You don't need to see that. And my product, ooh, product warranty. Okay, all right. Move the paper to the side. And okay, there were, there's two items, so we'll pull out one. Now, it's nice that they come, come in the dust covers. There's no string. Okay, so. Let's see what's the, in this little beauty. If I can remember the name of it, I'm, I'm looking at 
my receipt. Okay, so this is the Huckleberry Heritage Creme with the removable pen loop. It's a B6. And um, I got it for a very economical price. And I'm just looking at it. I'm due. Okay, so I guess you can remove this pen loop. Let's see. Oh yeah, you could. All right, I wonder how that's gonna hold up. I didn't know what RPL meant until after I ordered it. I would have liked one that maybe was, you know, riveted on, but that's okay. Um, this is my first adventure into Chic Sparrow, but you see it's not the cascade. It's got the side pockets and uh, this side pocket, and this is a B6, so this will be interesting. Now, I was at my local uh, Tuesday morning, and I was, I was going down the rabbit hole and looking at inserts, and I bought a bunch of inserts um, because they were really cheap and it doesn't look, I'm looking at them now, it doesn't look like any of them are going to fit. So I may have to buy just separate inserts, um, like for maybe, what is that, Penguin Paper Company on Etsy? Because look at what I got. I have no idea what size this is. Is this like a A5 size maybe? Do you think? Because I bought a bunch of them. Yeah, I could take them back, but I might keep them because they were very inexpensive. Yeah, they, these aren't going to fit in a B6. Okay, if you know what size, okay, look at this. Yeah, it's about an inch too tall. And oh, this width would be okay. Oh, close in the width, but um, way too tall. Okay, so that would probably, what would you say, an A5 with those inserts fit in? I have something else that maybe might work. Nope, it's gonna be again, it's gonna be too tall. I have this little journal that I also got from Amazon. Um, can't remember the name of it. Something dream or, oh gosh, can't remember. I'll, I'll, I'll put a link to it below. But look at, it's a decorated journal where you can just write and write. And they have three options. This was one of them and then they have two other options. It's, I think it's so pretty. And it's a very nice compact size, but not quite compact enough for this. Um, this would probably fit in an A5, right? I'm thinking. But it's, uh, yeah, you see it's decorated. You could use a black pen. Very, very pretty. Yeah, if you don't want to do a lot of decorating, you just want to write and write and write, this is already decorated for you. And this one's called A Midsummer's Night's Dream. Yeah, I just found this on Amazon. I'll find it. I'll put a link if you're interested in that. But okay, so it looks like I am going to have to buy some inserts for this size. Um, really pretty. It feels really nice. Um... I was thinking of using this more as for a tarot journal or something creative. Let's put that one off to the side and take a look at the next one. Now the next one is also a B6. This is the Carol Dorm Dormouse. And it's a Cascade Carol, also in a B6. And this this has those um, the cascading pockets, which I like. 
better than the other one, the other, uh, the other notebook. This is thinner leather. See, I know nothing about Chic Sparrow. This is my first experience with Chic Sparrow. This is a lot thicker and it feels a lot hardier. This creme. Um, I do like the color of this though. Something bright, and this would probably be a nice creative journal. Um, and then this one, I don't know, is probably what I would use to organize maybe the things, my social media and um, YouTube, which is, and my um, creative projects. So not only YouTube, but projects I wanted, I want to get going on again. Uh, more of my sewing, and maybe I can put all that down in this kind of practical, practical, um, this practical notebook. So it looks like I will have to buy some inserts for this, but I do like this size. Um, I have all those inserts for what looks like might be an A A5 size, but um, I do like this size. I do like, let's see, of the two, this seems like a more pliable leather, the Carol leather, which I do like. Um, and I like this built-in pen loop. This one, I guess, I'm just worried about it ripping out or maybe not holding up. I don't know. Let me know what your, um, your experiences with these, uh, different types of Chic Sparrows are. I like both of them. I like the thick leather on this. I like the texture on this, on this creme. I think the color is a lot of fun. Um, I do really like this Dormouse though, the, in the Carol. I think it's really, really cool. I'm liking it quite a bit. I like the feel of the leather. I like the thickness of it. Yeah, I do like this B6 size. Okay, I have something else. All right, y'all, this is the Midori Traveler's Notebook and I got it in the blue and you can see with the pen loop, I did order a pen loop. Now I ordered this before um, I started watching Don Michelle's uh, Boho Bloom channel and before I, I really discovered the Chic Sparrow. And so that's why I haven't opened this yet because I didn't know which way I wanted to go. All right, what do I do? Once I open these, I cannot send them back to Jet Pens, which is the company that I bought these items from. But I like the thought of having a traditional traveler's notebook. Even though I got the Chic Sparrow journals on a sale and I cannot return them, I know I could sell them if, um, you know, I figure out that I'm, I might not have a use for them. See, I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm just going to open this. We're going to open this, you guys. We're going to live dangerously, and I could probably sell this to... This was quite, you know, economical. It's a classic. So I'm gonna open it, you guys. This is all off the cuff, unplanned, unscripted. You guys are watching my indecision play out in real time because I don't know what I wanna do, okay? So let's get rid of all this paper nice packaging so I do know with this they come uh, they send you an extra uh, band and also you're to keep this band as well because you can use this as well um, oh my gosh I've got a mess going on around me this is a nice little muslin bag and it's got a little hook. 
All right, it's got a, some little scratches and it seems like they rub out really nicely. Yeah, this is Traveler's Notebook. The older ones had Midori on it. This is made in Thailand. It's really nice, you guys. And they do send it with one uh, notebook by the Traveler's Company. This is a black blank insert. And it seems really, really nice. really nice nice thickness and um, I know that the leather has changed over the years from what I've seen in the videos this is more of a smooth instead of the fuzzy um, interior that it had in the original incarnations so whether you like that or not you know that depends uh, let's see so it comes with two strings two bands and I guess you can tighten these as you like. And it comes with an extra band for adding, you know, extra notebooks. I think from what I gather, you, you shouldn't put more than three or four in these before they start to spill over and overlap. And from what I gather, I think the Chic Sparrow Traveler notebooks run a little bit wider um, to prevent that from happening. So let's see, I did get some extras. I did get buy some extra inserts. I will open that too. So I got a little ruler because I'm very bad at measuring, you know, eyeballing things, even though I sew. And this I bought, yes, I bought watercolor paper. In case I wanted to watercolor any of the paper and just kind of um, start decorating that way. So I'd have some color, you know, I'd have a base point to start decorating. Um, this seems like really nice paper. I don't know what GSM it is. Let's see if it says. Well, it says this is a notebook with watercolor paper on which the colors come out well. It is recommended not only to paint with watercolors, but also to draw with a pencil or a pen, as well as collage of photos and tickets. And that's kind of what I wanted this for. You know, kind of mixed media is kind of more kind of what I do. Not that I'm good at it, but once you finish drawing, you can send it as a postcard tearing off at the, per oh, so this is perforated. Yes, it is all perforated. It's nice thick paper. So I bought two inserts, two inserts. And then I also bought from Amazon a free diary. So this is a weekly, um, a weekly calendar. 28 weeks, I think I would need to buy one more to complete a year, right? And then I got this kit from Amazon with Midori inserts. So let's take a look. Extras, extras. So this is a monthly calendar, which I would want. This, so this all came as a kit. So you get a little plastic insert with a zip pouch and a clear folder. This is a blank insert. This all came as one kit uh, for a very economical price on Amazon. This is grid paper and extra bands, connecting rubber bands. So I think all of this I want to say that all of this was under $20 in the kit. It was really, really economical. And this was on Amazon and I will leave links if that's something you're interested in. This was about 
$12.99 just alone. You only get one, and I think you need two to make a whole, whole year, roughly. Oh, wait, 28, yeah, because 28 weeks is six months, so I need I would need to get another one of these. Um, This contains, I believe, all... Yeah, this is 14 months for the monthly calendar. So this was this was a really good value. Really good value for all of this. Some other little extras I got was this little stencil ruler. It's metal. And this little um, little plate, a uh, pencil board is what they call it. So you can write on it, you write on your uh, paper on the go. If you're not at a desk, I got these pocket stickers that you can put in as inserts and also this other pocket sticker. But now, now I don't know if I'd want to, because if you put those in here, you kind of ruin the leather. So it depends on how dear I want to be with this or if I just, yeah, I don't know. You guys, I can't decide. What do you think I should do? So you see what I have here? And I do have one more traveler's notebook coming from, is it coming from Japan or Thailand? And it's from a company called Woozy and it looks really pretty. Um, oh, decisions, decisions. I don't know if maybe I might sell this one, but I really like the color of it. I have to figure it all out, you guys. I really, really do. Um, maybe I don't really need this one. Do you see the difference in the sizes? Can you see? Um, if I lay it down, so this is what I would think is like personal size. This is a traveler size. You see how the, um, it's about an inch taller, the traveler size, and maybe half an inch wider than this. I like this size for throwing in the bag, but this could be used for throwing in a bag. I have bigger bags that this would fit in, but I don't carry them all the time. This was $10, it's staying with me. Um, maybe as a practice, um, you know, just kind of to get used to the traveler's notebook thing. I do like it, you know, it's not expensive. It's, it, it's vegan, it's, um, it comes fully stocked. The inserts are very inexpensive. I don't really know what the paper quality is like. Um, I do really, really like this Traveler's Notebook, as I love the Chic Sparrows, too. Yeah, uh, the one I really, really love is this Dormouse, the Carol Dormouse. I really, really like this. Really like this. So, yeah, do you see my dilemma? You see how unorganized I am? <laughs> decisions, decisions. I did buy a few journal charms um, from a couple of Etsy sellers. And this, the first ones are from um, Nifty Notables. And I got this Pride and Prejudice waterproof sticker which I think is really cool and a oh, really cute piece of textured um, cardstock here very sweet so this is the company nifty notable notables yes I am going, going to leave a review 15% off my next order, which I will definitely use. But look at these. These are Pride and Prejudice um, journal charms. So I don't even want to, oh man, I don't want to open this. Look at the, the cute packaging. 
Thank you for supporting my small business. And look at that. I want to keep this. I don't want to cut it. So you know what I'm going to do? Um, I have some scissors here. I'm going to cut the top. Yeah. So I can keep that intact. But look at this sweet little charm. Okay, so I have this charm and it's in one of my charm casting kits. I got it from the Hobby Lobby. It's a Pride and Prejudice book and it came in a package of three, Pride and Prejudice, Sense and Sensibility, and Emma. But she put it with, um, she decorated it. She put some little extras in one of these lobster claw um, little attachments. So I have this, you know, separately, and I put all three of them in the charm casting kit, but I saw these that this seller was selling with the little extras, and I got the Sense and Sensibility one. She was out of the pink Emma. Emma is pink. So that is really cute. And then this one is a cameo. I love cameos. So we will, again, This one came with a couple of choices with the stone or the jewel here, but look at how pretty that is. Oh, look at how gorgeous that is. Okay, this is from, these are from Nifty Notables. And then I got this one from a different shop. I don't know if it has the name. remember the name you guys I'll try to find it and put it in the um, comments below but look at that beautiful girl I think her name was Maud and you had different choices and they all had names Sabina Maud Gwendolyn um, look how pretty that is fun fun Here's the back of it fun cardstock tag I'll use that really nice paper. I'll try to remember to put the shop down um, and the link in the description box below. So I hope you enjoyed that little bit of a different unboxing. It wasn't a tarot deck, but it is kind of related to this channel. And um, I'm hoping that it will help me get a little organized. Um, Everything is a jumbled mess up here, and it really, really astounds me how I was able to stay organized with three kids, with all their activities, working myself, running a household, and how I kept everything up here, and certain things that um, I needed to remember, I just jotted down on a calendar in our kitchen, you know, uh, you know, school concerts, school performances, lessons. I never, ever was one to carry around um, any kind of agenda. You know, a lot of the times I'm just kind of the post-it note or scrap of paper or I find a business card and I write on the back of it. That's always been how I've operated it. And it's kind of, I think it's indicative of the Pisces nature and some other things. So, it's really, really surprising to me that now that I'm really, really, I don't have as many pressing things on my time that I'm so disorganized. And, and maybe that's because of it, because I don't have to stay organized. I'm not. So we'll see how things go. Um, I'll, you know, show you an update of what I've come up with and, um, pretty much what, you know, I've decided to, you know, how I've decided to structure things. Um, yeah, it's, it's going to be 
pretty much a uh, trial and error and but it seems like something that's going to be a lot of fun so yeah i'll check back with you and let you know how it's going uh let me know in the comments below how you how you roll do are you have you always been an agenda person do you like a bullet journal? Do you like a traveler's notebook? Do you like one of those Erin Condren or Happy Planner type systems? Let me know. Or are you like what I've been, you know, just a wall calendar, scrap of, scrap of paper kind of gal or guy? Let me know. I'd like to hear um, how you all stay organized. So with that, I will leave you to get on with your beautiful day. Bye for now. Mm -hmm.